Let me take this opportunity to welcome our learners to Primary 5 Science presented by Akenya Tony. Uh, this is our first lesson as far as YouTube is concerned. In this lesson, we are going to talk about methods of planting crops. So learners, in case you want to contact me, my telephone number is right on your screen and my email address. So thank you so much for sparing your time to follow this lesson. So I wish you all the best to follow this lesson. Please make sure you follow this lesson carefully so that at the end of the lesson, you can go to our Google Classroom and then you do some assignment that I will, I will put in the Google Classroom. So thank you so much. Uh, so dear learners, let us go straight into our lesson. Just as I told you that we are going to discuss methods of planting crops. So we know that uh, we plant crops. Very many of us, we grow crops uh, in different parts of the country. We grow different types of crops. So therefore, different types of crops have also different methods of planting. So we plant them in different ways. So therefore, in this case, there are two methods of planting crops. So basically, we have two methods of planting crops. Now, these methods, we are going to look at them one by one. But first, what are these two methods? Yes, can someone name for me one method? Aha, uh -huh. very good. We have raw planting method. That is very good answer. We have raw planting method as one of the methods. And then the second method, yes, who is giving us the second method of planting crops? Very good. We have broadcasting method. Broadcasting method can also be called sowing method. So these are the two methods of planting crops. So therefore, we are going to look at these methods one by one. Now, in this lesson, we are going to begin looking at raw planting method. That is what we are going to look at in this lesson. So we are going to discuss what do we mean when we talk about raw planting method. We shall look at some of the examples of crops that we plant using raw planting method. We shall also look at some of the advantages of raw planting method. So if I plant my crops using this method, what are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? So dear learners, learning this will help you to decide, okay? Or it will help you when you have this type of seeds. Which method are you going to use if you want to plan? Okay, so I request you to pay attention and follow my lesson. So thank you so much. Now, what is raw planting? What do we understand by raw planting? When I talk about raw planting, okay, this is the planting of seeds in holes in a line and covered with the soil. Okay, when we talk about raw planting uh, method, this is the planting of seeds in holes in a line and covered with soil. So that means you prepare your garden. Okay, when you prepare your garden very well, and then now you want to plant these seeds. Okay, these seeds which we are using raw planting method. So you are supposed now to dig the holes in the garden that you have prepared. And then you start putting in the seeds. After putting in the seeds, you cover it. That is what we call raw planting method. Okay. In most cases, even people get very long ropes. And then they use it to make straight lines. So that they can really make holes in straight lines and they plan. Okay. Just like here. You can look at this, okay? These seeds, 
are being planted in in lines they created here holes and now they are putting seeds into the holes okay now you can see this is the line here and this is the line here and this is the line here so after planting like this then you cover you cover these seeds in order for them to to germinate now when they grow up they will look very nice in the garden just like this one this uh, this plant was planted using raw planting you can see how beautiful it can look when you plant these seeds using raw planting okay so that is what it means by raw planting unlike when we talk about broadcasting broadcasting that is the scattering okay the throwing of seeds in the garden using hands that is broadcasting you just throw them you just scatter them on the surface of the soil but when we talk about raw planting we plant our seeds in holes and in line then after we cover so members that is what it means by raw planting very good now let us look at some of the examples of crops that are planted using raw planting yes learners can you give me some of the examples let's name them there are very many crops that we can plant using raw planting method can you name them very good someone has said maize very good maize when you are planting maize you can use raw planting method you prepare your garden and you plant your maize in a straight line okay you can see that maize so when you get this maize grain then you can now go and plant in the garden using raw planting method aha uh -huh. another one yes very good another one we have beans beans are also planted using raw planting method we plant beans in most cases people plant beans in straight lines they create holes and they put beans remember the the first uh, diagram that i saw you i showed you so it has uh, beans okay they are planting beans in a very straight line so we have beans uh-huh good another one we have soya beans soya beans is another crop another seeds that we plant using raw planting method most of you even don't know soya bean but you can see in this picture if you have ever seen any seed like this it may not be seen clearly but at least if you can recognize this then that is what we call soya beans and remember the first uh, diagram that i showed you the crop that was growing in a very straight line that is soya beans okay they planted soya beans and it was growing very very well very healthy very good then we have cow peas cow peas is also planted using raw planting method we have cow peas here you can get this and then you go and plant in your garden then we also have cassava cassava is another crop that is planted in rows that is planted in lines okay so we have some of those crops so therefore they can ask you to give examples now you can give some of these examples but there are very many other examples of crops that can be grown using raw planting method so dear learners having looked at these examples of these crops now can we give the advantages what do you think are the advantages of planting crops using raw planting yes i want to hear from my learners now aha uh -huh. very good very good child aha uh -huh. we have one few seeds can be used that is an advantage look at this garden okay on your left hand side if you look at this there are very few seeds which are planted here just simply because there is spacing okay unlike broadcasting where i said you can scatter now if you are to scatter here if you are to throw these seeds 
uh, on the surface of this soil. You can put very many seeds here. But using raw planting, very few seeds can be used. So even if you have a very big garden, at least you can buy some few seeds and you'll be able to cover your garden. Okay, that is one of the advantages. Then another one is, it is easy to weed the crops. Now, when these crops germinate, it reaches a time whereby you are supposed to carry out weeding. Because you have the spacing here, look at all this spacing. Okay, all this spacing, weeds are going to grow there. So when they grow, you need to remove these weeds unwanted plants you planted beans here so whatever is growing here is unwanted plants so you need to to remove them you need to remove them that is what we call uh that is what we call raw planting so it is very easy for you to uh, to weed a garden or to weed the crops so that you your crops can grow without any competition uh -huh. Then another, another advantage is that spacing in lines, spacing in the lines helps to control pests. Now when these seeds grow up, of course there are some pests. There are some things, there are some living organisms that destroy crops. So they can be birds, they can be insects, they can be, okay. So here, when there is this spacing, you find that some pests can easily be controlled using this spacing because they may be in this one but moving to this next one become very hard for them and the farmer can easily come and spray and kill them before they attack other what other crops or other plants uh, so that is another one then the next one we also have it is easy to harvest the crops it becomes very easy for you to come here and start harvesting when they are ready in the garden okay harvesting now means removing the ready crops from the garden so because even they are not very many they have the spacing you can easily come depending on what type of crops and how they can harvest them for example beans you just come and uproot them so you just uproot one from here, uproot this one, uproot this one when they are ready, okay? Then you take home. So these are some of the advantages of raw planting. So dear learners, if you are going to practice this, you will find that you are going to have your small garden and then create there some holes, put there your seeds, make sure you have the spacing. And then after that, you will carry out uh, weeding after some time okay so these are some of the advantages now let us now look at these advantages of raw planting okay what are the disadvantages you have seen raw planting very well you have even seen some of the diagrams where seeds are being planted in rows so what do you think are the advantages? One of the disadvantages is that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Remember, preparing the garden, after you prepared your garden, then again you need to dig the holes. So when you dig these holes, then you come and start dropping in, putting in seeds then after putting in seeds you are supposed to cover so that means it will take a lot of time now another disadvantage is that a big garden can be covered in you can cover a very big garden within uh, with very few seeds so that means if you put few seeds you are also going to harvest your harvest will also not be too much okay so these are some of the disadvantages. So therefore, learners, this is what I have prepared for you in this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to look at broadcasting method. So let's follow this lesson and also to get these notes, also to get the exercise. Just go to our Google Classroom and then 
you join our Google Classroom using this code. This code will be able to let you join Primary 5 Classroom, where you will find there some exercises, you will find there some notes, and then you copy. Otherwise, thank you so much. So, therefore, we have our lessons that have been going on on Zoom. So, check out the playlist below for recent lessons you might have missed or you may have missed. And also, remember to subscribe in order to get more upcoming lessons for all subjects. Even when your brother is in nursery section, P1, primary 1, primary 2, or even senior 5, we have all those lessons in this YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Otherwise, may God bless you all. My name is Akenya Tony. Thank you.